this is on my conscience. I I gotta keep distracting myself every every day because I'm being dragged down here to here because of lies that I don't told. I'm tired of y'all bothering me. Okay, well I'm sorry that you're tired of being bothered, but you're under subpoena. It's a valid court order. So your decision at this point is yes, I will abide by the subpoena and testify, or no, I will not abide by the subpoena and the immunity order, and I will be held in contempt for my refusal and put in jail. So which is your decision? Let's get it together. What's up, girl? Ooh, look at our guy, look at fresh. Go ahead, Woody. Let's give Woody a round of applause with the suit on. Y'all know he's testifying today. Yeah, look at Woody up there with the suit. He he went over there. He got Mr. Adams wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. And he got the pocket square and everything. Oh my god. All right. It's Monday morning now, and <laughs> I need to find out from you what your intention is with regard to um Oh, he testified. You are going to testify in this case. You have been granted immunity so that um, the privilege of self-incrimination is no longer relevant because the state can't use anything that you might say in answer to their questions or any other questions against you. Mm -hmm. um, and you have been instructed with the benefit of counsel as to the consequences if you don't testify. So I'm asking He's you now what your intention is. May I speak? You can answer my question, please. And so you're under subpoena. The state intends to question you. Are you going to answer any of those questions? Are you going to testify in this case? Well, Young, I've been pressured from the get-go. You know what I mean? Like, even when I went to the meeting with Glenville, I have told him over and over and over and over. Stop crying, Woody. Ask no, it a no, question. This is on my conscience. I I got to keep distracting myself every every day because I'm being dragged down here to here because of lies that I don't told. I'm tired of y'all bothering me. Okay, well, I'm sorry that you're tired of being bothered, but you're under subpoena. It's a valid court order. So your decision at this point is, yes, I will abide by the subpoena and testify, or no, I will not abide by the subpoena and the immunity order, and I will be held in contempt for my refusal and put in jail. So which is your decision? But I did it time for all my crimes that I was caught for. Sure, this, is, this would not be any kind of punishment for any crimes you may or may not have committed. This would be that you have been ordered by a court to testify, and if you refuse to testify, you're held in contempt. You're saying, I refuse to listen to the court's order and obey it. And it is not a punishment. It is an incentive to have you change your mind and obey the court order. So which is your decision? He's testifying. Can you explain it to me? Yes, I said we talked about it. It's the same thing that Glenville is doing to me? It is the same order that is still in control. You have a subpoena for your testimony. That is a court order. You also have a court order that says anything that you say can't be used against you other than if you get on the stand and lie and it is it amounts to perjury, you can be charged with that or with false statements. Um, but if you refuse to testify altogether, when you're under a court order to do that, then that is considered contempt because you're saying, I don't care what the court has ordered, I'm not gonna do it. And then you'll be put in jail through the end of this trial. So my, or uh, until you decide, you know what, I think I will testify after all. So let me, Young, I'm telling you to your face, you just said that some about it, they can lock me up for lying. I'm telling you to your face, this is all I do. And you're telling me that they can lock me up if I lie. But if they, if I sit here and testify, so the E-way is going to go to jail. 
No, not with regard to anything that you might testify Just to. Tell the truth. That That's what they want you to do. <clears throat> admit to a crime or admit to your involvement in a crime. That's what the immunity order does. And I'm sure Mr. Melnick has explained this to you, and I know I've explained it previously. Wow. But none of that is going to result in you being put in jail because they cannot use that evidence against you to prove any of those crimes that you might incriminate yourself about. So are you going to testify or not? He's not going back to jail. Do you want to talk to Mr. Melnick again? No. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to have you step out for just a minute while we get the jury in. Okay, y'all. If you could step out with him, please. That is the first just so. huge ball to drop. Thank you. Woody said he's going to testify, y'all. Wow. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Yes, ma'am. Wow. On the I dot, am. Lauren. I was going to see if anybody had anything to say first. So now, part two. Here we go. Is Honor, the jury. I'm going to renew my motion for a mistrial based on coercion by Judge Sandbell. This is based on the fact that Mr. Copeland, having now been properly instructed that he would only be incarcerated until the end of trial versus his instruction previously that he would be incarcerated forever. Um, he's now deciding to testify. Um, I think at this point it demonstrates the coercion by Judge Glanville. So I'd like you to reconsider that. I don't think it just demonstrates anything of the sort. I think it demonstrates that he has now been properly advised and he's making a decision anew. Thank you. Overruled. Yes. A housekeeping matter. Uh, Understandable. Is the Harvey rule still un under your yes. guidance? Still in yes. effect? Okay. Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay. And so I'm going to have the jury out. Crazy I'm going to up. give them the three instructions that we just um, discussed. Then we'll have Mr. Copeland in. I'd like him resworn. And then um, you can pick up from uh, whatever you want to do post 3 p.m. June 12th. Hey, Your Honor, may I just step outside to see if Mr. Melnick has informed Mr. Copeland that there's going to be some testimony he's going to have to repeat. My interactions with Mr. Copeland, he'll get frustrated. Okay, you know, you know what? Why don't you, instead of you going to talk to anybody, just let's, can I have Mr. Melnick in again yeah. real fast? That's a good idea, though, to tell him that. I don't know if wow. he's going to that or not. I don't okay. Think Mr. Melnick was in here this morning when we were discussing the directions or the instructions. No mistrial so far, y'all. 